What's up crew, Thursday afternoon. Just hanging out in the garage, just got done. Dylan and Sarah are looking at me through the bedroom window. Dylan's not even looking this way at all. Can't see me. Come sit, join me. The whole family is in. Oh, Hi crew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very insightful. Yeah. yeah. But Dylan is a part of it. Gotta shake both hands. <laughs> this is a team effort with hands. Yeah, I get it. What do you feel? How do you feel about your opening performance? Have you put any thought into it? No. No? <laughs> Not at all. Dylan, how do you feel about your ranking? No. Oh. I'm gonna put some subtitles, some ridiculous amount of words for that one blurb she just did. <laughs> Alright, I wanna keep this one short, uh, simple. All the latest videos or the most recent videos have been really long talks with me. So I wanna try to keep this one just like updates, talk about what my strategy is going into Fran and Franzilla. Cause I do wanna PR this workout. I feel like it's the right time. We did that Tabata the other day and, was it yesterday? No, uh, yes. We did that Tabata with chest bar pull-ups and those felt as good as they've ever felt. And I finally feel like I've, I've gotten that rhythm with my hips popping. I can only imagine what regular pull-ups are gonna feel like once I get there. And I do plan to go unbroken. My strategy is to go as hard as possible, try to just keep up with my lactic acid buildup. So if my legs start to burn, I just need to mentally eat it and go. Just keep on going. I mean, there's not much to say about that other than I'm gonna try to stay as efficient as possible with both movements. Thrusters keeping the bar over my heels, nice tall chest, pretty much like I did for 17.5 and that's just quick up and down. For the pull-ups, it's just trying to stay underneath that pull-up bar as much as possible and not getting too far over or out. That's my plan for Fran. Make sure to stay tuned for the live. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's at Big Man Syndrome. I may do it on Instagram just because it's a little bit easier and I've done it before. It's not as foreign as what YouTube might be. I'm hoping that I can get an internet connection so that it is very crisp quality for you guys. Uh, but it might also be here on YouTube, which will be great for most of you because I think a lot of you follow me here and less on Instagram. But that will be at 10.15 Pacific Standard Time. I'm gonna warm up from 10 to 10.15 and then I'm gonna get going right about at 10.15. Fran, three minute rest, Franzilla. I hope a lot of you guys are planning to join in on the fun. I'd be pretty stoked if I got at least 10 of you to do this workout with me. That'd be pretty awesome. I did talk to Neil and he's agreed to sign the winning t-shirts. If you also take a look at the description of the previous video, I'll put all the rules down in this one as well. The three prizes are, first one is Fran Fire Breather, which is going to be uh, just a signed t-shirt from Neil Maddox, and that's the best Fran time. So whoever gets the fastest Fran time in this competition, you will get a signed t-shirt from Neil Maddox. CrossFit Extreme Athletics, probably one like this. I'm not sure of the color, it might just be at random. Prize number two, I've decided to call it True Grit, and that's for the person who pushes the hardest to get this workout done, Fran and Franzilla as a whole. I'm gonna be watching every single submission probably a couple times just to make sure that I can validate them 100%. And the person who shows the most grit that is just pushing through this, whether it's scaled or RX, uh, whether you finish last or you finish first, if you just crush this thing and you are trying your best, you will win a t-shirt signed by Neil Maddox and signed by myself because I, I would be so proud of that person for just you know kicking this workout in the balls. Final one is the overall score. That is the best combination of the three scores, your best uh, combination of Fran Time, Franzilla, and from start to finish based on the ranking. So I'll put everyone's scores in a, in a spreadsheet. I don't know what I just committed myself to. This might take forever to judge and set up, but Oh well, this is for you guys. That final prize is a little bit more than I kind of thought, and I just want to invest in you guys a little bit more, and I might try to see if Rock Tape will you know, comp this stuff. If not, I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna send it your way. It's going to be a signed t-shirt uh, by Neil and myself, a CrossFit Extreme t-shirt, a roll of Rock Tape, any style that you'd like, and then a bottle of three ounce Rock Sauce. So those are the prizes. Uh, like I said, the competition started today or yesterday based on the way I upload these videos and it's going to run all the way through till April 9th, 
2017, just in case there's some 2020 crew members looking at this video. You'll submit via video on YouTube or Facebook, sending the link to bigmanmead at gmail.com, and then I'm gonna give myself a week to go through all the videos and try to rank everybody based on the scores, and then I'll hopefully announce that winner by, I think I said the 16th, it'll be in the description for more information. But I'm, I am seriously so stoked about this, like, even though Fran and Franzilla's gonna be absolutely disgusting. I really hope that not just other CrossFit vloggers decide to do this, but I really hope that a lot of you decide to do this. This is an awesome opportunity for us to do something as a community, uh, as a channel, as a crew. I'll do my best to compile everything as quickly as possible. At the end of the day, if everyone submits a video and if there's a way for you guys to share the raw footage, I will create a cool cut with music as a post and it won't be a vlog post it'll be a completely separate post like that would be so awesome i literally i just got super excited about that and i hope that this happens hit it this saturday with me if you want to if you want to turn on the live session and then as soon as i go three two one go you go three two one go as long as you got a camera set up filming you that's awesome too that'd be pretty sweet and then you put your time in the uh, comments I'm going on seven minutes keeping this short john if you have any questions or want advice on technique to get this done or have more questions about scaling this workout feel free to reach out bigmanmead at gmail.com i'll do my best to answer as quickly as possible but otherwise i hope to see you on the live feed and i hope to see your video submission let's have some fun with this this is going to be pretty cool i think i'm going to cut up some uh some blue apron cooking tonight in music one doesn't make the end of a composition. The point of the composition of the composition. If that were so, the best conductors would be those who played faster. <laughs> Same way in dancing. You don't aim at a particular spot in the room. That's where you should arrive. The whole point of the dancing is the dance. <laughs> essentially playful. We say you play the piano. You don't work the piano. Why? The whole point of the dancing is the dance. That's today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new, subscribe. If you're not new, hit that like button, leave a comment, share this video. Those are the things that help grow the crew. And, uh, Pretty good day today. I got some more done in the garage. I think I'm gonna have a great day tomorrow. It's, it's gonna be a, another training session with Neil. Until then, I'll see you later. Bro.